Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain here with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com, your industrial service center. Been in business since 1983 and we do all kinds of industrial service. Anything from motor repair to electronics repair to system retrofits, you name it, we do it. And today we're talking about drives. Variable frequency drives in particular, the SMV or SM Vector Series drive, which we sell online at our website. We sell a big number of these because we use them out in the field. Uh, we love them. They work really well. Uh, they're made in America. Uh, they're very, just very well built. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing one, feel free to check out the website. Also, if you have any questions after this video, make sure you contact us because support is included with our pricing. Okay, so let's take a look today. We're going to talk about the manual uh, first, because before you do anything on your drive, typically you always want to consult your manual. Uh, it is your most valuable tool. We do have a copy of the manual on our website. But in this case, we're going to be talking about resetting your drive to factory defaults. Now, factory defaults are basically like giving your drive a clean slate. No matter what drive you might be working with, uh, default settings are default settings. Uh, and in most cases, the drive you're working with will also have a way for you to reset it to factory defaults. It's a good thing to know how to do in case you go in there and you've made some changes to parameters and you're not entirely sure if you've broken something, which happens all the time, gives you that clean slate to kind of start fresh and move forward from that. Now, that being said, if you've had a technician come in and customize your program, you don't want to just go resetting your factor default because remember, once you do this, it will wipe out whatever you have set up. So uh, just use some precautions there. Uh, to make sure that you're not wiping out a program that you don't have a backup of. Uh, and if you are going to wipe out the program and you don't have a backup of it and you need one, try to find a way to pull that program out of the drive. Or in some cases, some people will write down what each parameter is before they'll do a reset. Depends on your situation. Now let's take a look at the manual here first. Because this is, this is basically on the uh, SM Vector manual, which we have on our website, of course you'll notice that I pulled up this parameter. It's parameter 199, and it's called program selection. Now, program selection lets you set these parameter numbers. You can put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 into that parameter, and then you press enter, and the corresponding operation happens. Typically, 0 is the default because it's operating from whatever your custom settings are, um, but then you got these two options related to OEM settings. Now, OEM settings are settings that were sent, if this was like a custom-built machine manufactured from an OEM, they may have their own EPM module or a programming module plugged into it, or they may have had OEM settings pre-programmed into the unit. Most people will never use this OEM unless it is an OEM drive that you got specifically from an OEM. The third setting and the fourth setting are the ones that are most interesting. Reset to 60 hertz default setting. 60 hertz, of course, is the normal frequency that uh, 120 volts in America runs on. So 60 hertz would be the American standard. Uh, and the 50 hertz defaults would be the European standard for the frequency of your drive. Uh, five translate, we're not even going to go into that. You're probably never going to use that. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up our drive here so I can show you guys exactly how to do this. It's pretty easy to do. And what you want to do is you want to start by pulling up your, your parameters. And it, that's pretty easy to do. So you notice if I press up and down, it just flashes error. And that's because I'm basically trying to control the reference and such right from the drive. And I have not reset this drive yet. So if I press enter here, it'll flash really quick saying password. Do you notice that? You probably didn't even notice that. You might have to go back on the video to see it again. But it flashes really quick saying password, and the default password for all SM Vector drives is 0225. So we're going to hold the up arrow until we get to 0225. We're going to press enter again, and that's going to bring us to parameter 100. Now notice when I was on the manual, it said I needed to go to parameter 199. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back here. We're going to go up to parameter 199. Go all the way up. 199, press enter. And then we're going to set this to, as I discussed, we're going to set that to 4. No, we're going to set it to 3, which is our 60 hertz factory default setting. And we're going to press Enter again. Notice it clicked, and that's because it set everything back to default. And that is really it. That's all there is to it. The drive has officially been set 
back to factory defaults and you're good to go. Now this is how you do it on an SM vector variable frequency drive. Now at this point, when I do future videos, I've got a clean slate. This is how the drive would arrive from the manufacturer and I can go in and actually write my custom program the exact way I want it and uh, kind of go, not write, but set up the parameters exactly how I want it for my application. And you're going to see me get that little motor back here running uh, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with these drives. So I'm excited about getting into more detail on it. So thank you guys for coming out. I hope this video helps you out. And of course, if you have any interest in SMV drives or SM vector series drives or variable frequency drives in general, make sure you check us out at precision-elect.com. That's precision-elec.com. See it right there in the corner, right, right there. Or you can contact us, of course, at 574-256-1000. We hope to hear from you soon, and we'll see you in the next video.